What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung today announced the launch of its latest flagship mobile processor that will power the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus and the Note 9. Called the Exynos 9810, the 9-series CPU is built on a second generation 10 nanometer process and apart from being faster and more energy efficient, it includes advanced AI and deep learning capabilities that will power a new breed of facial recognition features in the smartphone. The Exynos 9810 has a neural engine that can recognize people and objects in photos at very high speeds and will enable apps to use realistic face tracking filters, perhaps in a similar manner to the Animojis which use the true depth cameras found in the iPhone 10. The new Samsung phones will also be capable of scanning and creating a 3D image of user's face. The obvious suggestion here is that the Galaxy S9 range will have a 3D facial authentication system. Last year's S8 also had facial recognition capabilities, but it was limited to 2D tracking. So it was perfectly fine, but 3D scanning takes it to a whole new level. Despite the jump to 3D scanning though, it doesn't look like Samsung will be relying on facial recognition as the sole authentication method for the Galaxy S9. There will be iris scanning and fingerprint scanning capabilities, so users will have a lot of options. Unlike the iPhone 10, where you're stuck with the Face ID, which obviously isn't the fast out there and multiple times a day outright refuses to recognize the face. The Exynos 9810 also makes improvements on the imaging front. The processor comes with a dedicated image processing unit and upgraded multi-format codec. This should result in better stabilization for images and video, real-time bokeh effects in high resolution, and reduced noise and motion blur for better pictures in low light. It also enables video recording and playback in 4K resolution at 128 frames per second. That said, the Exynos 9810 is surely looking very impressive right now and I'm definitely looking forward to see how it's gonna perform on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. So that said, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.